It is 5.45, our earliest morning on the loop yet, and it is all to get through the Cape Fear River. We're Jen, Elliot, and Ollie. In 2019, we booked a one-way flight to Colombia, and after traveling to 11 countries, we were locked down in India for five months. Coming back to the U.S., we decided to pivot into boat life and cruise on a 6,000-mile journey called America's Great Loop. Make sure to subscribe as we share the highs, lows, and everything in between. We planned this cruise two days ago when I was looking at the currents and the tidal forecast for today and also the wind alongside the forecast for the next few days. So this is our window. Cruising through inlets as big as Cape Fear, Class A inlets, um, can be daunting. But what we've learned is there's kind of two things you really need to look out for. One, are you going with the current? And two, are you going against the wind? Now, you do not want to go against the wind and with the current, because then you have wind versus current. It's going to be a very bad, very bad day. Very rough day. I mean, you, you'll, but the boat will probably be fine, but you won't enjoy it. And then is the wind on the beam as you're crossing this waterway the entire time. For us, that's a concern on, on our trawler. Today, we have practically no wind, which is only second best to wind on our, wind on our stern following us. Um, but it's a very good second best. And then we have the current with us. Our liver gets a worm. Now our first uh, detail of our journey into Cape Fear up to uh, Carolina Beach is that whenever you're le you know entering Cape Fear for that inlet, you're gonna have current against you. It's just it's the opposite of the inlet. So right now on ICW entering Southport right before Cape Fear, we have like a knot against us right now. So that just is what it is. It's part of the reason why we left so early. Coming into Cape Fear, right now, this is about the last mile marker before our turn. We are going 5.7 knots. So let's see how that changes when we get up into Cape Fear. I think we timed it. 8.7 knots. Hey! Wow. Wow. So here's our trip last time up the Cape Fear. We just finished going through Cape Fear and fear not, we made it through. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that one. I think we're doing a solid two and a half knots. <laughs> a whopping. A whopping. A blistering. <laughs> a scorching. And we're cruising into the sunrise. Wow. That is pretty cool. That is cool. Jacket. 
I saw like four other boats leave from Southport, uh, some of the marinas there. I was letting everybody has the exact same idea. Hit the tide as it's rising. And it, you have to leave this early today because the tide, I believe, switched over at like 6.30 or 7 or something. So it's 6.30 now. But it will take longer to switch over as we go further. I and mean, the current will switch a little bit after the tide. So, so far so good. Time one right, you time the other wrong. Um, quote unquote, because the tide will be against us here in, in Snow Scott, but that's fine. You know, it's Cape Fear is a lot longer than Snow Scott, so in our opinion, it's better to time that one. So there is a ton of shoaling here, almost always, so make sure you take your time, follow your tracks. It's all no wake, so there's that. If you do prefer marinas, the marina here is $45 flat rate, so that's a very good deal. Um, of course, we just came from a marina, so we don't need a marina. Ready? Yep. Hit. So while we wait for Pivot to kind of be arranged with the wind, I didn't do that before anchoring, so we're kind of just like in this weird like Pivot's not quite there. So we're not backing down yet, so 
while Pivot evens out, we're idling, <laughs> and uh, we're gonna just re just drop the dinghy. You know, might, might as well stay uh, stay productive. Hey, and now we're back. Now we're facing the right direction. Look at that. Look at those cute paws. <laughs> Oh my goodness. You're just way, way too cute. Feeling good. Time for a nap? Hey, it's time for a beer and time for bed. <laughs> time for a beer. It's not even 9 o'clock. <laughs> good job. Going through Kate Fear. We did it. We did it. And it wasn't. That was like a thousand times better than it was last year. A thousand times. Yeah, it was. Yeah. And that also took about like what? Maybe a, a third fraction of, of the time. Yeah, a fraction like an of hour. the time. Yeah, that was amazing. Besides three hours. Yeah, besides the whole like waking up at, you know, like 5 30 in the morning, <laughs> highly recommend that. I mean, even so, it was great because we like saw the sunrise, but. And that was exhausting. But overall, that was totally worth it. Our anchorage has been great so far. No dragging. Kind of pulled around nicely. And now we are heading to shore to get our errands done, go to the hardware store, refill up on propane. You know those things that you kind of have to do on the boat. And take our precious girl out. Yeah, you're going to go for a walk. Let's go. And we have a chance of rain in one hour. So we are going to try to hopefully not get rained on, but we are prepared. Bye, Pivot! Unfortunately, this anchorage is pretty far away from the town dock, but fortunately, there's a town dock. So, you know, I always got to look at the bright side. Store, you do have to walk along a very busy road, but there's a sidewalk, so. Should be good for another six weeks now, at least. And Time we got to, some wood? We got some wood, that's for a project we'll show you guys later. And we got screws for our steps that have been broken. And now we're gonna try to outline the rain. So vamanos. If you want to learn more about Carolina Beach, last time on the vlog we visited here, we stayed in the marina, we went uh, across the way to the beach, uh, and it was on Mother's Day, uh, and we got some good pizza, so make sure to check that out if you're interested in coming back. We Elliot just finished uploading our video and setting it to release. So our work for the day is done. We're also, we have a lot more work to be doing, but we're both exhausted. So we figured, you know what, let's make today a rest day and rest and recuperation. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna follow Ollie's lead. We're gonna make our salon into our movie theater because we're so fancy on Pivot. And we have our TV, so we like hook it up to our iPad. So we're gonna have just like a little movie night, but it's more like a movie afternoon because it's not even 4 p.m. <laughs> and this is how we do it. First, we push the table down. <laughs> it's a little. Uh, it's like pivot. You just have to work with what you got. Kind of stuck. Okay. <laughs> That's how it's supposed to, to do. Put the things in. And uh, the next step is to take one of the cushions. We like that one. Put it right there. Voila! And then we bring the blankets like that. Sometimes we bring our extra pillows 
Ah, not bad. What do you think, Ollie? Could you get used to this? Oh, it's so <laughs> She leaves us. Oh, it's kind of mad at us right now. Not bad. Movie night was very, very relaxing. We ended up watching three movies, so just what we needed. Make sure to stay subscribed as tomorrow we are heading north on the Great Loop to Wrightsville Beach.